Hello Lunar Child and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, sunny and chatty and or pensive today for the Cancers. The moon, your ruling planet, still in Virgo, but it's moved off of Saturn and that fault line between Mars, Uranus, and Saturn. So I think you're kind of free to think and you're not getting triggered. This is an excellent transit really to get to the bottom of certain emotions, to crystallize how you feel. Great transit for getting things off your chest, talking to a friend, going to a therapist, blogging, etc. This is an excellent time for clarifying your emotions and what you think about your emotions. Now zipping around to the sun in Aries, Saturn is ruling the day today. We're in chapter two of Sun and Aries and the topic for Cancers is their career and legacy. And by the way, for you stay-at-home fathers and mothers, career legacy does include the children you leave behind on the planet. Well now in chapter two, with Saturn ruling the day, you probably have enough information and or courage to make important decisions. That's what Saturn does. It helps us make decisions. So you likely at this point in chapter two have decided what you don't want out of your career legacy and you're probably beginning to decide what you do want. So this is the halfway in between point. Then lastly, I have some damn good news. Pluto is officially retrograde. Thank God is for that. Pluto went retrograde over the weekend. I'm just now announcing it today on Tuesday. Pluto is the regenerative force of the solar system. Wherever Pluto shows up, it's the one part of our life that's going to die and be reborn. We're always killing off one side of ourselves and expanding another part of ourselves. Now Pluto has been in Capricorn since January, basically saying to Cancers, certain aspects of the way you get married, how you get married, certain aspects of your marriage, these aspects now must die and be reborn. Cancers are learning to get married in a whole new way. So the way you can see Pluto at work is, it basically just draws a strong line with you. For instance, maybe a certain behavior was always tolerated in your marriage and suddenly your partnership, your partner's like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. Perhaps you have a long standing relationship with a business partner and you guys always did things a certain way, but in the last few months, it's just not working anymore. That's Pluto. Pluto takes the wind out of our sails and says, this must stop and it must stop now. It refuses us to continue along a bad path but Pluto will be retrograde until September 11th. So for the next couple of months, you could slip into those old marital patterns again, Cancer, but I don't advise it because when Pluto goes direct September 11th, all that same force will come back. So these partners and whatnot will not tolerate that attitude in the future. It's time to reflect in the retrograde and understand what Pluto was trying to teach us since January. All right, Cancer, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow. Shout out Wednesday. Live, love, be. So